and the media in this country. The darkest recesses of your industry really laid bare this week, Paul. I mean, something had to give, didn't it? Uh, indeed, but what a loss. I mean, it's going to be... I mean, the biggest loss, I think, is that we're going to lose... Uh, well, I mean, I, I've always said that I've just tried to write articles in a truthful way, and, you know, what better source of uh, getting the truth is to listen to someone's messages. Now, that might sound frivolous, but, um, you know, several celebrities have called us uh, evil and scum, whereas all we've ever tried to do... Uh, but, what, but what right have you got to listen to their messages? Um, possible right? I'll tell you what, let's, let's, I, I, let's bring I, I, in I Steve Coogan, shall we? But I have to say, I think you're a walking PR disaster for the tabloids because you don't come across in a sympathetic way. You come across as a sort of risible individual who is, is, is symptomatic of everything that's wrong with the tabloids well, because, you're, because, you're, because your attitude is we're just selling newspapers or we're, we're, we're investigative journalists, we're trying to tell the truth. You're not uncovering corruption. You're not uncovering, you know, bringing down institutions that are inherently corrupt. You're finding yeah, out, who, you're, finding you out you're just trying to find out who Who's sleeping with who? Yeah, but it's about selling. Have, it's about selling new free press and a decent That's democracy. That's absolute. You need a free absolute. Press yeah, 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 you've got nothing to do with a free press or a decent absolute democracy. Absolute garbage. You're hiding behind. So you're it, hiding, if this you're hiding silences behind the, the press and we're no it's, longer it's able not to gonna catch politicians with their trousers down, fiddling their expenses. That's a big loss. You're not. The whole. Just let Paul answer. Go. If this brings about a law that silences the press so we can no longer catch politicians uh, lying and cheating to the electorate who voted them in, so you well, I've always I'm said a you, were a, small, you a, were a small, you were a small price to pay. Why? Why am I not a politician? Why go after me? Millie Dowler's relatives are politicians. Why go after them? You, it's no, morally that, that bankrupt, to, you, and you are morally bankrupt. The, the, the whole yeah. notion of, of press freedom yeah, well, is a I've... smoke screen for selling newspapers with tittle tattle, and you hide behind this whenever it comes up. It's absolute BS. Yeah, but you've got a publicist. Or you, you spend your entire life I trying to get in the newspapers, no, trying to no, get I in don't. magazines, I trying I to get in movies. Interviews. No, I don't fact, give interviews. To I don't work. give interviews wait, to wait, the wait, tabloids. Wait. I don't do it because I'm interested in. In, in writing and entertaining the public with the, the, the comedy and that I write, with the comedy movie, that I write, perhaps. with the comedy that I write. How many Murdoch right? movies have you been but, in? Listen, I, I, I deal, I deal with Rupert Murdoch already. I deal with his, his, so his why organisation. Is it such a great day I'm talking just... about tabloid newspapers and the muckraking that you do. So you and take the money, you, you take hide, five million you, quid a movie, hide, and then five, you bleat about so someone. Always oh, listen to our message. Let messages. me just ask you something. Let me just ask you something. If these means were used. For example, to hunt down, you know, Ian Huntley instead of the Soham girls' uh, families, would we find that less morally reprehensible? I put it to you. The answer is probably yes, right? There, you you could see there are occasionally, very occasionally, public interest cases, but most of the time, no. Yeah, well, most of the but isn't the point that as soon as you legislate, these you... guys just phone tapped anybody they could think of? Do you know what I say about the news of the world? Well, even point even like something me. when it looks laudable, like uh, uh, Sarah's law, something like that, has nothing to do with some moral imperative on the behalf of the. Tablet. I was very it's proud all, of naming and all, shaming. It's I was all, the journalist who did it. It's all to do with selling newspapers. If you do something, something laudable, selling newspapers, or something despicable, it's about selling newspapers. That, There's that no few ethics at all. However strongly you feel about this, do you look at this inquiry? or the possibility of regulation go hurrah it's all going to be fine no i think no but i think it, it may temper the behavior i think what's happened is the broadsheets have colluded to some extent with the tabloids because they think that the price of a free press is letting these people shovel crap and the thing is you don't have to do that you so, can have a free press and you can regulate uh, the, well, the, 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 the press what's your fear what's your fear Paul, that the, the world is going to be on. a better place because we'll no longer be able to expose silly celebrities for taking coke and cheating on their wives which to be honest i always found a bit of fun um, and you know but what's the, so what are you saying the world will be that, a better place if no, you is, are regulated but is that in the public this interest guy, the only good thing wait about, wait 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 sat outside my house I sat out, this guy sat outside my house. It's just a risible, a nice deplorable. You were in the green de room talking about the number profession. of new houses you bought this year. De oh, you know, we all feel profession. terribly sorry for you're you. In. Okay, what do you think is going to actually change? What do you think is actually going to change in the tabloid press from you know this year to next? Well, there's going to have to be regulation. There's no doubt. I and mean, the idea that it's going to be a voluntary system. But this system is illegal is, anyway. Is this is illegal. Phone hacking is illegal. Yes, Why do you need at, Ofcom? But, but look at. Yeah, or whatever, regulation, you know. Well, 
If you look at broadcasting, I mean, these guys who sit here saying, oh, well, this is the end of the freedom of the press, it's nonsense. Broadcasting has always been regulated. And broadcasters do, I would say, a much greater job and a much better job than half of the tabloid press in serious issues. What he's talking about is just tittle-tattle. But you know what? There are a lot of times when the news of the world gets an amazing scoop and it exposes the thing that everyone wanted to know about. And then everyone's praising them. And the fake shake did this and we brought down them. Nobody complains about it then. Very occasionally. Hitler was nice to dogs. Yeah, and exactly. That's why we don't have a Hitler in this country. We have nice politicians, oh. like nice Mr. Clegg, because the bad guys get exposed. They walk into the media you spotlight you keep and we immediately about catch them out for being do. corrupt. When did you I last, know. Ex I tell you you last expose a bad guy? You don't yeah. do that. You shovel... SHI yeah, OK, TV. so we, we shovel that to sell five million copies. So Is when the one good it? story comes along, five oh, million people that, read it. Paul, and that can means I ask you oh, something? Right. I didn't you, realize you, you're on a moral you, crusade, you, I'm sorry. You what? keep coming on and you're you know, good to do so, but you seem like a slightly tortured soul. Are you, are you questioning what you do now more than you did in the past? Are you going to stop doing it? Um, well, no, I've always been a journalist and I've always tried to uh, write articles that titillate, entertain and shine, shine a bit of light right. onto the grubby, shallow lives that some people who present themselves and do, and in a completely different well, life. Can I just say that I've spent most of my life being a journalist and I'm nothing to do with him and nor are most journalists. I don't think you're journalists. fit to be called a journalist. I think there are some excellent journalists, but you're not a journalist. You know you're not, deep oh, down. I just you keep trying to justify yourself. You, you know? keep being wheeled out this whole week because do you think, no one else can, can be bothered to. Do you think you, the, well, do you think the public well. is still with you? Okay, Paul. There's a load of celebrities are just jumping on the back of this Hugh Grant. I haven't done a movie for two years. So-called celebrities were the people your newspaper and, and a lot of other tabloids and a lot of the right-wing press did not uh, uh, pursue this story at all. It was this. It was a, a, a one column okay, piece in the Okay, but Steve, the Steve Kuhn, just 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 respond to that because there are people saying, you know what? There are a lot of celebs out there who do court the press, who do love the press. I'm not jumping on a bandwagon. I'm not going to make any money out of this. If I, I'm lucky, I'll cover my costs. If, I, if, I'm, if they give me any damages, I'll give it to some victim support group. I'm not interested in money. I'm not interested in the. But publicity. the wider I'm, question is about using the tabloid press to to put yourself out there. I mean, a I lot don't, of people. If News of the World never wrote another word about me, I'd be delighted. Uh, well, uh, uh, or its successor, the, the Sun on Sunday. I don't, I don't court them at all. Yeah, you do. You walk down no, a I red don't. carpet and you, you pose I, at the I cameras and the News of the World well, photographers. Last question. Is the public still with you on this? Well, sadly not, but you've got to get sadly. rid of the emotion so you can think about it rationally and the world, you know, Britain will be a poorer <laughs> place without it. All right. We've got to end it there. Thank you all very much. Thanks for coming. Well, the revelations about the hacking